um, um, FHRC Brony here and Guitar Rocks 360. Um, I just want to make a little um, video uh, regards to Traxxas Rustler because uh, I did make that one video of me talking about the vintage Rustler that my cousin has. So I figured why not uh, make a second overall review of a Traxxas Rustler. Um, this is a comparison of this one that I have right here. Um, this is the newer newer version of it of the Traxxas Rustler. The one the other one that my cousin has is a vintage one, so that's like around 1994. This one's a 2016 model. Anyways, uh, sorry that I'm actually just got out of school um, pretty early because I had a uh, let's put it this way a car hit me um, while I was riding my bike. More information on that on Guitar Rock on my Guitar Rock 360 channel. So I'm not gonna blab to you guys about about my hit and run thing in this video on this channel. It's totally irrelevant. Anyways, so this one is a 2016 Traxxas Rustler. Uh, uh, like I said, my cousin's is the 1994 one, and this one is has uh, small incremental upgrades compared to the old ones. Um, I'll pop the first of all. First, I'll look from the exterior features. Um, the the uh, the exterior on the Traxxas Rustler is updated compared to what you get from the ones in 1994 to 2006. So this one's a little bit more aerodynamic, as you can see by the looks of it. Um, the the original Rustler body was like a truck style. Like I'm talking about, like more of a um, more of a, like a style of a pickup truck. This one's more of a style of a supercar, kind of. That's made for off-roading. Open-wheel supercar. So, I'll take the body off. This one's a, this one's already kind of destroyed, so I'm going to get a new one soon. Um, so here's the chassis layout of it. Nothing has really changed on the original chassis to and this one. The only thing that's totally different on this one is this right here. This is indented. There's some indentation going on there. The old rustlers don't have that indentation on it. So putting wires on, on your car is going to be a hassle for you in some cases. Um, the tires, um, sorry, my the wheels and tires, it, it uses 5x8 millimeter. I don't know, I'm sorry. The old ones use, uh, let me show you right there. Probably see that little silver button there. That's that use that uses uh, five by eleven millimeter bushings or and bushings or bearings compared to the old rustlers, which uses five by eight millimeter bearings or bushings. I think that they use bushings only, but it is what it is. The transmission is still the same as the old as the old rustlers. Um, different motor now. The old. The old uh, Rustler Stampede Bandit, they use the old tight. They use they use the old Stinger motor. Now we use the Titan 12 turn. The ESC that came on my cousin's Rustler is is an XL1 ESC, but there is also an option that you can also go with a cheap mechanical speed controller back in in the 1990s and early 2000s. Has the receiver that came from my tracks a slash? I just switched the receiver with to the rustler and the slash because I, I like the black controller better I like the feel on that one compared to the old 27 megahertz style radio but yeah so basically it's not, nothing's really different that that really changed on this rustler there is some small changes on it you know different um, hub carrier size different body and um, of course different wheels and tires um, these are these tires are not the original tires that came off the rustler. These are the original ones. This these are Elias, and as you can see, they're dull. They're already shot. I beaten the crap out of those tires. They don't really last on asphalt. So if you're gonna be buying one of these things off of eBay, I mean uh, out of your hobby shop, the stock XL5, it's the Elias tires are not really that good on asphalt. So I'll see you guys later and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed.